Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video, and today we have your favorite brawlers. You guys voted tens of thousands of votes, and we have culminated all of those votes, all the results into this video, so we're going to find out who your favorite brawler is, as well as your least favorite brawler. Now, the favorite brawler, not a massive surprise, a little bit of a shakeup, but the least favorite brawler... <laughs> We've got some words. We, we got some words to talk about at the end of this video, you guys. We're going to break this up by rarity, and then at the end, we're going to look at the overall votes of your favorite brawler. But first, forget everything that you think that you know about mobile gaming, because the hottest new RPG Raid Shadow Legends is... <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, sort of, because today's video is sponsored by Raid, but I'm not going to scream in your face about trying Raid. Well other than the first 10 seconds, but check it out. Over 76 million people have played Raid to date. Now, there have been over 35 billion battles fought in Raid, which is almost as much as my kids fought last week. I mean, but hey, if you want to hop into one of these battles, you have a ton of champions to choose from, like the legendary attack champion Ethos or the War Priest of the Sacred Order. Now, you can take these awesome champions and either hop into a dungeon or battle it out in the arena. Or if you want to just take it easy and chill, there's an awesome auto battle feature that I personally really like. And this summer, Raid is coming out with a ton of new content like a bunch of new champions and a new rotation to the Doom Tower. Every month is different in Raid, so you're always going to have new content to log into. So if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. For you new players, you're going to get an epic hero, 200,000 silver, an XP boost, an energy refill, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome new champion as soon as you get into game. You can claim those rewards for the next 30 days by going to your inbox. It's that easy. So click on the link and I'll see you in game. So first off, let's take a look at the Trophy Row Brawlers and who you voted as your favorite and least favorite brawlers. Coming in at dead last on the Trophy Road would be Shelly. Now, I'm not super surprised that it's Shelly. However, I will say that she is not dead last in the overall rankings, not by a pretty significant margin. So you guys hang on for that, all you Shelly fans. But here within the trophy road, she is last, followed by Nita with only 60 more votes than Shelly. Shelly got like 2.4% of the votes. Above Nita, it goes Bo, Bull, Brock, which Brock at number eight? Come on now. Uh, I, I actually voted for Brock here. But no, you guys think that above Brock, we've got Jesse Tick, which Tick. Today we are playing a bunch of different mini games with my absolute favorite brawler, which is Tick. M's coming in at number five, eight bit at number four, Colt is number three, Dynamite is number two, and that means your favorite Trophy Road brawler is going to be Stu. Not a huge surprise there. He's a brand new brawler. He's really dynamic, lots of fun, really fast, quick to play. I can see why he is your favorite Trophy Road brawler. Moving on to the rare brawlers, where we only have four brawlers to choose from in dead last place. Not a big surprise here. It is going to be Rosa. Again, she's one of these brawlers where you can just kind of spam auto-aim. Coming in at number three, we've got Barley. And then number one and number two was actually a pretty close match, or at least in the beginning it was, because Poco and El Primo were neck and neck. However, overnight, El Primo took a really big lead and came in at number one, your favorite, our favorite, rare brawler, El Primo. Moving on to the super rare brawlers, we have more of the same that we just saw in the rare because in last place, the very linear brawler who really can't aim, I guess you can aim with her, but it's just a circle and that would be Jackie. Jackie comes in dead last here in the super rare brawlers, followed by Penny and then Carl, Rico and Daryl, one, two and three were all pretty close. However, in the end, Carl comes in at number three. Rico comes in at number two. Who was my pick? I chose Rico as my favorite super rare brawler, but you guys chose Daryl as your favorite super rare brawler. Now moving into the epic brawlers, this is where it starts to go off the rails a little bit, where I pretty well disagree with you guys a considerable margin. So first place here, I'm just going to start at first, first place because I don't think it's going to be any super big surprise that Edgar is going to be the number one, the favorite epic brawler not a huge surprise there however coming in at number seven pam you guys like pam worse than frank okay but coming in at number six is frank and then number four and five 
Piper and B. Another long range brawler right above them is Nani. Coming in at number two, that leaves BB, which I am complete trash with BB. Really bad. However, I know she is a fan favorite and a lot of people really love BB and that shows in these these voting right here because she comes in at number two. However, if we move along to the Mythic Brawlers, once again, it's a little bit of a shakeup that I wasn't quite expecting. Number eight is Mr. P. I would have thought that Mr. P would have done better than the number seven brawler, who is Byron, who I think that Byron is incredibly dull to play, personally. However, you guys don't agree with me. You guys think that Mr. P, he's your least favorite mythic brawler. Above Byron, we have Sprout, and then Gene, and then Terra. Now, number three is the brand new brawler, Squeak, and I think that this is a pretty fair spot to put Squeak. Number one and number two, it comes down to Max and Mortis. And once again, Assassin Brawler, very mobile, lots of energy. Mortis is going to be number one in the mythic category. And it actually wasn't very close. Who is going to be your favorite chromatic brawler? Who is the worst? Let's just start off with the worst because first place in this category was the biggest blowout in all of the categories. Like it, like over 40 something percent voted for one brawler, but very little voted for the last place brawler, which is Lou. Now Lou has been down for quite a while and he just got a buff and he's actually pretty darn strong. Like, especially like in hot zone, he does really well. And Siege too, where he's really great defensively. Right above him is Gale and then it goes Colonel Ruffs and then really, really close voting for Colette and Belle. I think it was only like 16 or 13 or so votes that separated Colette and Belle, like less than 1% of the votes difference, less than one tenth of 1%. Colette comes in third, the brand new brawler Bell comes in second, and in first place, by a landslide, we have Surge. So then moving on to the legendary brawlers, in fifth place, the least favorite legendary brawler is going to be Sandy. But coming in at number four is going to be Spike, and then Amber coming in at number three. Now number one and two, once again, is Crow and Leon. Two assassins, both legendary, both lots of fun, However, in first place, by a pretty decent margin, is going to be my boy, Crow. You guys know I voted for Crow. I'm happy to see this result, although Leon is a lot of fun. How about overall? Last time we did this, Crow was number one. In fact, it wasn't even close. He was so far and away number one. He was like double the votes of all the other brawlers. This time, however, let's see how it turns out. Now, I told you at the beginning of this video that I was really shocked who was last place. And this is where we need to have some words because I just don't think that in dead last, it should have been Pam. Pam is the least favorite brawler in all of Brawl Stars. Or at least, I don't know if she's like the least favorite, but the fewest amount of people think that she is their favorite. There's a slight difference between the two. Let's be real. Now the two brawlers that are right above her in next to last and in 45th place or 40 whatever place that is, is going to be Rosa is coming in next to last with Jackie right above her by one vote. I get it. We talked about it before. Those brawlers are very linear. There's not a lot going on with them. Now, right above them, we have two chromatic brawlers with Gale and then Lou. And that rounds out the bottom five in Brawl Stars. Now, I'm not going to read every single one of them because it's a lot, but you'll see a list here on the screen that shows you all the different positioning so you can find your favorite brawler on the way to the top five brawlers in all of Brawl Stars. And coming in at number five is like not a huge surprise, but I wasn't ex completely expecting this one. And that is Amber. Hold up. Wait a minute. I screwed up. Amber is actually number six. Number five is actually Spike. You know what, Spike? If you want to be recognized, speak up next time, okay? Just sitting there saying nothing. I missed you. Amber got 450 votes as you guys' favorite brawler, which, solid choice. She's a lot of fun. And I mean, you know, let's get real. Everybody likes to light stuff on fire, so I get it. Amber, she is number five on the list. Well done. Coming in at number four is the brawler that completely dominated his category, and that is Surge. Coming in at number four with 707 votes. And so that leaves three brawlers at number one, two, and three. The same three brawlers that were number one, two, and three last time. I, I, I thought that there was a chance that we would see like Stu or Edgar overtake the top three, but no. Number one, two, and three is going to be between Leon, Crow, and Mortis. So 
Last time, Crow dominated. Leon came in third place last time. And once again, Leon is in third place. With 859 votes, a very strong showing. Oh, was getting close to breaking 1,000 votes, but that's reserved for the last two brawlers. So coming in with 1,099 votes in second place is Crow. Dang it. I was hoping that he was going to win again, but Crow did not win. That means we have a new reigning champion in the most favorite brawler in all of Brawl Stars with 1,188 votes, Mortis. Mortis is you, I guess, our favorite brawler in Brawl Stars. I can't complain. I can't really complain. I, yeah, I wanted Crow to win, but... Mortis, even though he's not like the greatest brawler, he can be like insane in the right player's hands, but overall, he's not the greatest brawler. But there is no denying how fun Mortis is to play. You may get wrecked, but you're gonna have a smile on your face while you're getting wrecked. Crow Gang, we will live to fight another day. We'll get him next time, maybe. But what new brawlers will come between now and next time we do this that may completely upset the balance of this all? We're going to have to wait to find out. So let me know what you guys thought about the ranking in the comments down below. And if you didn't get to vote, be sure to watch my community page, Twitter and Instagram, because I posted it in all three places. And you'll get to see the community page more if you're subscribed right here with those notifications turned on and using code LEX. That actually doesn't help. Except it does make you really awesome at Brawl Stars. Guaranteed. Results may vary. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video about your favorite brawlers in Brawl Stars. We'll see what next year brings. But for 2021, that's our favorite brawlers. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.